What's going on YouTube? My name is Quentin Johnson, also known as Paradox, and this is Paradox News for April 14th, 2015. It's glad to be back. Thursday, last Thursday, you were supposed to get an episode of Paradox News, and it wasn't, there wasn't a lot of news that dropped, but now we have a lot of information. Like, there's been a lot of stuff to come out in the past few days. I'm going to cover some of it, not all of it. There's some things that I either forgot to mention or I just didn't write down in my notes. But anyway, we're going to start off with May 19th. You get Destiny Expansion 2, House of Wolves. I'm really excited for this. I mean, I don't play Destiny as much as I did a couple of months back. I'll still get on, maybe get some stuff from Xur. But I do have a couple of friends who are very passionate about this game who keep me in the loop. And they are really looking forward to House of Wolves. Of course, you will get some story expansion. You'll get a lot of new weapons, new gear. But a big thing about this expansion is that there will not be a formal raid. Instead, you're basically going to be breaking into a prison. There's sort of a survival or horde mode being introduced called the Prison of Elders, if I remember correctly. I hope I'm pronouncing everything correct. Anyway, May 19th, look out for Destiny House of Wolves on all your favorite platforms. Also released this week is a trailer. I'm really hype about this, um, and it's not what you think it is. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 is coming out this year, this fall, fall 2015. Storm 4, there's a new trailer. They have taken away the um, the character types. Like, Mortal Kombat X came out today. Look out for a couple of videos about that, maybe later in the week on to next week, because that's when I'll be getting the game. Um, Mortal Kombat X, if you're familiar, they have this three-character sort of system. Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution had something a little bit similar but not fully flushed out in that way and that system has now been removed going into storm 4 that's something i'm really excited about i hated those types in storm revolution i didn't even buy storm revolution because of that i'm a bit fed up with that series to begin with but that's a topic for another day anyway that's coming up fall 2015 make sure you go check out the trailer i'm really hyped for that fans of the order 1886 which was not a bad game it was a decent game um the game was actually really good. It had its high points, had its low points, but a lot of people still tend to crap on it. Anyway, it was an absolutely gorgeous game, and now you'll be able to take really, really good care and utilize that beauty in a way never before seen with the new photo mode. The game received an update, and it adds a photo mode similar to The Last of Us and Infamous Second Son, and I think that's going to be really good, so I can't wait to go hop back in the shoes of Galahad and take some gorgeous photos, because I love... I love photo modes in games. I love taking pictures. Um, if you actually look at my Twitter header, it's a picture that I took from Infamous Second Son. So I love going around messing with photo modes. It's a lot of fun, especially Drive Club. Oh my god, Drive Club's photo mode is amazing. Um, a lot of talk has been going on, especially with Justin HD Gaming. Uh, make sure you go check out his channel. If you go to my homepage, there's a link to his channel right there. Make sure you subscribe. He's been talking a lot about Splatoon, the upcoming Nintendo shooter, and it's not going to have voice chat. Now, it's a shooter. It needs voice chat. I'm not going to say anything else. Nintendo, get your heads out of your butts. That game needs voice chat. I don't care. We know the internet is a very, very bad place, but you need to include voice chat in that game. I am sorry. Okay. Also, today, Grand Theft Auto V launched on PC, and the game looks absolutely amazing. However, the game has been played with server issues as well as Mortal Kombat 10. So both of those experiencing some server issues, um, rounding out today's new Star Wars Battlefront will be released, not released, it will be playable first on Xbox. I'm pretty sure Xbox One is what it really is with the EA Access program. Star Wars Battlefront will be in EA Access. Still no official release date on that game or anything as of right now, but I'm really looking forward to the game. I love the Star Wars Battlefront games of old, and I'm really looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be great. Now, the big, big, big story I'm going to leave off here today. I'm not going to talk about it a lot here on the show. Pretty much, I'm going to give this its own video because it really, really needs it. It was the first thing I saw when I woke up this morning. Guitar Hero Live. Oh my god. Fall 2015, there's a brand new Guitar Hero. I will go over everything in another video. But just know they sort of switched up the normal Guitar Hero formula. And it's better than ever, I think. But there are some negatives going on with this game. So stay tuned. That is from Paradox News for April 14th, 2015. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section. Was there any news that I missed? Tell me down in the comment section. We can talk about it. I'll probably remember it. But, you know, news is breaking in the gaming industry every single day, all the time. I just try to get some important stories out there. So until next time, I'm Paradox. Say in peace. Only one man is Mark, and Mark gets to stop. Mark does, he gets to stop. Gives him a chill on hand. Ace, oh, baby, let's go.
myself and many others didn't really care about the adventure of Manuel Calavera. It does not matter, Nameless with a huge two-piece, and Zuma is right behind him, Nameless with the throw to take the lead for 